guys, what's up? It's your boy Pixel 12 back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today's video is going to be us taking a look at some of the League Un Cheap Beast cards for you guys' starter team. So without further ado, I suggest you get right into the video. <laughs> Right then, guys, the first player we're going to be talking about is none other than Jonathan Bamba from Lil. Low SC Lil. This card with the full database now being released, he looks nuts. Obviously, his in games look insane for a starter card with 89 pace, 875 shooting, 74 passing, and 69 physicality. As a winger, if you slap, like, let's say you slap a hunter on him, go up to 99 pace, 99 sprint speed, 83 overall finishing, 8, not overall, but 83 finishing, 85, 84 positioning, 83 volleys, 81 penalties. So he'd definitely be a good, cheap winger for you guys to just start off with. Plus, he's very linkable to other, let's say, leagues or other players due to the fact that he's French. So if you guys are starting to get some coins in with this early access and do want to start creating some wicked hybrid squads, this is definitely a card to keep your eye on purely because of the freaking in-game stats when it comes to adding some chemistry style cards, i.e. a hunter or maybe even a hawk to this card. I probably, if I got this card and he probably will make it into my starter squad, probably will use a uh, hunter on him purely because I want to be able to just blitz past players. But uh, yeah, let's get into the next player. Right then, guys, the next player on our list is actually Gelson Martins. And this is an option for the right hand side. Now we had Bamba for the left. Now we've got Gelson Martins for the right with 93, uh, 93 pace, 83 dribbling, 71 shooting, 70 passing. This is a beast of a card. Again, just when it comes to pace abusing, you guys got 99 pace and then obviously the added in-game stats then with the Hunter when it comes to shooting, finishing whatsoever. Plus, again, he is linkable to like a Bruno Fernandes, a Cristiano Ronaldo, a Pedro Goncalves of Sporting Lisboa. So yeah, he's definitely a sick, sick card to just get into your starter squads and definitely get using him because trust me, players like this at the beginning of the game, absolutely flipping insane. We have again now got another right winger or right mid in Jonathan Icone of Loessi Lille once again and again it's just it's just pace abusing really again slap the hunter on him and you guys have got another card with 99 pace and a decent amount of finishing when it comes to the 80 finishing for your starter squads like at the moment Ligue 1, I'm gonna do these for these sort of videos for every league once I have a look at some of the players obviously I'm watching two like content creators open packs as in Castro and Bateson right now so the more players I see pop up on their screens the more players I have in my head for further videos but obviously if you guys are liking this video please sort of like button subscribe and already more FIFA 22 content coming thick and fast but yeah what's i gonna say this card is absolutely insane when it again comes to in games plus the 83 dribbling which gives in insane agility and balance as well as ball control and dribbling composer is actually decent as well at 79 so yeah a decent decent card for your starter squads this one isn't necessarily going to be classed as an Le uh, quote unquote cheap player but I want to get him into the video because I think this guy deserves an honorable mention Renato Sanchez is for me one of the most overall consistent center mids in the world of football uh, that we live in right now I watched him last season play for Lille and he was nuts I watched two or three of their games I'm not going to sit here and say I watched every single game because that's going to be cap but I watched two or three uh, of, of their games in Ligue 1 last season and he played phenomenally for the in those games I watched the game against um, Bordeaux which is an insane game that he he had an insane game there and the PSG little game for sure those are the two that definitely spring to mind but um yeah with 85 agility 84 bal uh, 89 balance sorry 83 ball control 84 dribbling 83 composure this guy and even the physicality stats are ridiculous personally on him i'd put a shadow on him obviously uh, leave comments down below on what what chemistry styles you'd leave on a card like this i there's three i'd probably put on a shadow an anchor or even a sentinel because all round this card is going to look flipping insane with any of these chemistry styles like i said if you guys want to put a powerhouse maestro or hawk or whatever on him that's down to you so that's how it comes down to how you guys play but at the end of the day if that was me i'd either put i'd either put an anchor sentinel or shadow on him because i think that was suit him but um, yeah. Right then, guys, with that being said, this is going to mark the end of the video. Like I said, if you guys have liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe already. More FIFA 22 content coming thick and fast. Like I said, the next league I'm going to do will probably be Serie A, and then we're going to go to the Bundesliga, then we'll do La Liga, then we'll do Premier League. So, yes, please make sure to keep your eye out on the channel because there's so much content I'm going to be pumping out over the next couple of days. It's going to be ridiculous. But like I said, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one very, very soon. Peace.